The Amhara Association of America, or AAA, has verified that as of May 14, 2023, state-sponsored attacks have continued against Amharas throughout Ethiopia. In response, the Amhara resistance has continued with vigor. AAA received reports of anti-government protests in Awamata and Lalibela. Independent medias have documented new arrests in Addis Ababa, Amhara and Oromia regions. AAA has also verified new attacks by OLA militants. Multiple sources reported anti-government protests in Lalibela after government agents attempted to blackmail residents to rally for the government. Protests were also reported in Alamada. Signs could be seen with messages such as, Raya and Tigray may be neighbors but Raya has never been Tigrayan. According to multiple media outlets, public health specialist and social media activist Ermias Mercuria was abducted by army commandos on May 12 in Addis Ababa. Ermias was reportedly going to purchase supplies to donate to IDPs in Deborah Burhan displaced from Walega. According to Ethio, 251, Awoka Sen Shah was abducted from his residence in the Lideta neighborhood of Addis Ababa. Ethio, 251 also reported the abduction of Makonen Ayala from the Arada neighborhood of Addis Ababa. AAA has verified that on May 5, OLA militants abducted six people in Harafula, East Walega. Since the abduction, three out of six people were released. On May 8, federal forces arbitrarily arrested two Amhara men in Anger Gutten town and later released one. Authorities also transported a large number of detainees from Gutten to Nakemta without explanation. According to Ethio News, between May 10 to 11, six youth were arrested in Shoarobit town and 23 were arrested in Kobo. In Yimowo Kebele, the RMO ENDF have continued their siege on local residents assisted by heavy artillery. On May 12, Imat Guarage Media reported Oromia region forces shot four ethnic Guarage people, killing three including a husband and wife, and another pregnant woman whose husband survived with injuries. Thank you.